Hi, I'm Chris, and this is Rachel, and we're living that adventure vibe. In this video, we're going to be talking about why we chose a Class A RV to go full-time in over a fifth wheel. Now, these are our personal reasons, and they're based on our personal travel style. So definitely keep that in mind as you're watching this video. You may have a completely different travel style, and so a fifth wheel might be a good choice for you. But today we're going to be talking about why we chose that Class A based on our travel style. Speaking of, what is our travel style? That's a great question. It's um, one we did not know, actually, when we went out in 2019. <laughs> Yeah, so we spent a lot of time this time trying to figure out exactly what is our travel style and how is the rig that we're in going to have a very direct impact on what that's going to look like. So, so a couple of things. When we went out in 2019, we felt like it was a race. We were go, go, go. We made it all the way across the country way faster than we probably should have, and we didn't take our time to really enjoy. So we've made a rule that we're going to stay two weeks or potentially longer at most of the sites now, but also being able to pack up and travel when we do, we wanted to make it go easy and as smooth as possible. But we also want the ability to be able to change our mind. So if we do get somewhere and we decide it's not where we wanna be for the full two weeks or however long we have booked, we wanted the option to be able to change our mind. The Class A gave us that uh, in a little bit better fashion. We also really, really wanted to try boondocking. I think we only boondocked like one or two times yeah, the last much, time we were out. Not much at all. And it, I think that had a lot to do with the fact that our travel trailer did not have a generator. So we didn't have an alternative power source for um, other than like protein, propane for like the fridge and stuff. Yeah, we didn't have solar generator or anything uh, before. Yeah, so we definitely want to try boondocking more. There's a variety of reasons for that, but ultimately we want a good setup that if we want to boondock, we can and we can do it fairly comfortably. Another thing with our travel style is we really wanted to improve our travel days. Mm -hmm. We had some rough travel days before. Yes. Yeah. We think the Class A will definitely improve that. Um, obviously a fifth wheel could have some great travel days as well, but bundle all that together. That was another piece for us was really improving those travel days, yeah. making it to where um, life was a little bit more manageable. Yeah, at least uh, and that's not so our stressful. And that's our, that's kind of our assumption too that, that our travel days are going to be yeah, slightly sure. easier. We don't actually know, so stick around to figure out if it actually is easier. <laughs> <laughs> Those are our assumptions. So we're going to get into the six reasons why we chose a Class A over a fifth wheel. And we looked at a lot of fifth wheels. We really, really were high on a toy hauler because Chris works from home. And so having him, him having like an office space and then me also an office space um, in a toy hauler was a kind of a cool idea. And the setup that Changing Lane ha has is a, is a great setup. And we really considered that hard. For sure. Yeah, it was. We went and looked at a bunch of them and there's a great way to do that where you've got the door that divides the toy hauler place. You can have the desk, you can have the benefits of the porch on the back. So yeah. there was a lot of benefits, but ultimately there was a lot also with the class A that really wanted out for us. So reason number one that we chose the class A is higher quality finishes. So a lot of the class A's because they don't flex quite as much, they're able to use a different style of finish. Um, a lot of the ones that we were looking at have real wood cabinets. Um, there's nothing wrong with the press board. They've got just a different style um, finishes and things like that. And we really like the real wood finishes, the solid surface countertops that the Class A's offered. And that was pretty important to us. So number one was high, higher quality finishes. Yeah, it definitely felt more residential, mm. I think, than a little bit of more so than the fifth wheel. Number two is easier travel days. We have already said the travel days were not fun. Stressful Woo. in the travel trailer. It was difficult. Yeah. And it wasn't necessarily the setup and the teardown process. Um, it was the actual towing of the vehicle. And yep. we went through, again, we've mentioned this in our um, getting back on the road video, which I'll link in the cards and below. But we went through some windy places with the travel trailer and it was not fun. not fun haul on a travel trailer. So we really are hoping that 
having a heavier vehicle and a larger vehicle is going to help us a little bit more with some of that ease of travel and being able to go make a sandwich back and i have prepared a nice little lunch like sandwiches and stuff like that yeah during while we're riding down the road is kind of cool and having the ease, ease of like going to the bathroom um also kind of like makes that really really easy that we don't have to get out of our vehicle we can just keep driving yeah we jumped in the back on a on we would stop at a rest area and get out of the truck go into the the travel trailer you know go to the bathroom make some lunch but now if it's raining you don't even have to go outside yeah or it's cold yeah so yeah um, and stay tuned we will update you after we have the class a and let you know how it changed yeah does it make the travel day better right we'll find out yeah uh, when we get it for sure and we're we're making all of these sort of like reasons based on why we're choosing to buy one we're going to figure out whether or not we made the right decision or not so stick around for that more to come so reason number three is a faster setup and tear down so we've had obviously the travel trailer we also had a class c and having the auto level option was Oh, it was so much better. So it made good. the setup and tear down on our class C so much better. And so we're looking forward to having that feature back with the class A. Again, if the weather's bad, you can back into your spot, pull into your spot, be able to level it, put the slides out, not even have to get out of the rig. So we are definitely looking for ease and speed on the setup and tear down mm -hmm. uh, of the actual rig itself as compared to some of the trailers that we've had before. Yeah, and I think that that's kind of a theme throughout all of our reasons is like we know where we kind of like struggled and what was what was a bigger trade off than we actually wanted to Definitely. have. And we're, we're trying to compensate for some of those things. Yeah, we want to make it a better experience this time. For sure. Yep. The fourth reason that we chose a class A over a fifth wheel is because class A's tend to hold their value a little bit better. If you know anything about RVs or if you have been shopping for an RV in the last couple of years, you understand that the values of RVs have kind of gone crazy at the moment. Mm. So we understand that going in that we want to probably buy used, but we also know that because we're buying used, we want our asset to hold its value yeah. as much as possible. This is a depreciating asset and we know that going into it, but should we ever want to upgrade or something like that, then we want to be able to to have a higher value um, in our purchase. Reason number five that we chose a class A over a fifth wheel is a smaller auxiliary vehicle. So when you're in a fifth wheel, you've got your F250, F350, 450. So a lot of times it's a dually. Yeah. You've got these much larger vehicles that you're using to tow the fifth wheel. But when you get there and you're set up for two weeks, that larger vehicle is also your daily driver. For us, we want to be able to go out and do hiking, so we're going to trailheads, or we want to go kayaking where we need to be able to put in at a lake or something. And there's not always a lot of room at some of these places where we want to be able to park. So going with a Class A gave us the option to get a smaller vehicle as a toad that we could then be able to get into these smaller places, even just going to the grocery store. If you've ever tried to take an F-350 dually to the grocery store, the parking spaces are not made for it. You're parking way out in the big truck club. The big truck club. It's not the easiest. You're not getting the front row parking where with a toad, we can get a smaller vehicle that will make life easier, again, as, as well as getting into those trailheads and the other places as well. So having that smaller vehicle with us for the daily driver is going to make a big difference. Yeah, and it's a way more comfortable ride. Oh, for sure. Yeah. When you're on that, you're not in that rocky suspension yeah. or the stiffer suspension again when you're towing it's great to have yeah but when you're not towing you don't have that load it's a little bit rougher ride yeah it is and on the, in the last truck that we had we had extra suspension upgrades in it that made it even more uncomfortable when you weren't towing <laughs> and so it'll be nice to have a car that's a lot easier for actually for both of us also to drive yep so well, and for riley riley appreciates yeah. uh if you're just new to the channel riley's our mini golden doodle and he likes a smoother ride uh he's not a big fan of the car uh period yeah. but the better we can make it uh yeah. the better he does so the smoother ride will be a big benefit for him for sure the very last and final reason number six that we chose a class a over a fifth wheel is because we'll have we're hoping we're gonna have better overall 
gas consumption. We know that the class A is going to be a guzzler for the gas. However, what we're hoping is that because we're not, we're only traveling twice a month, maybe, um, that our auxiliary vehicle will make up for some of that because it's going to have a, a lot better gas mileage than, say, Definitely. a truck would. Definitely. And so we may have a higher gas mileage in the um, motorhome, but we'll have a much lower gas mileage um, in the auxiliary vehicle. And so we're hoping that that kind of evens itself out a little bit. Um, so, yeah. Yeah. And it's, you know, most of your motorhomes that we've looked at are 8 to 10 miles per gallon when you're driving it. Or less um, going up a mountain. Yeah, less yeah. going up a mountain. But so are a lot of the trucks when they're towing or going up a mountain. So yeah. we're thinking that's going to be the same. We're also weighing out gas versus diesel. Our towed will be gas for sure Yeah. Uh, as we're still looking at gas and diesel coaches. But the towed will be gas for sure. So cheaper fuel costs because gas yeah. is cheaper than the diesel, diesel these days. Yeah, And you don't have um, to pay DEF. You don't have to get DEF in it. So yeah. there's a lot of benefits there in, again, not having that diesel bigger truck as your daily driver. So overall, better fuel mileage by having that towed. For sure. So that's our six reasons on why a Class A was the right fit for us. Class A versus fifth wheel, it's an age-old discussion. You'll see varying opinions out there, but let us know. Drop a comment below. Uh, we're eager to know what kind of rig do you have? Why did you pick that? Why was it a Class A? Why was it a fifth wheel? If you've got other ones, if maybe you've got a Class C or a travel trailer, drop a comment. We'd love to know why you picked those. Uh, if you stuck along this far, we really appreciate you. Uh, we'd love to have you subscribe, hit that thumbs up and like. Uh, it really helps us out as we're producing this content. We want to give back. Uh, the community has done great for us as we've yeah. been traveling, and we really want to be able to give back. So, again, thanks so much for tuning in, and uh, join us for the next one.